This is the Monster Ocho Cinco Burrito Challenge at Maria's Cantina in South Haven, Mississippi. A gigantic burrito that is wrapped and completely packed with ingredients, including chicken, rice, beans, lettuce, salsa, guacamole, and last, but certainly not least, sour cream. I mean, there's no possible way you can miss that one. I'll be sharing the table with food fighting veteran Natter, aka Freak Eating, who doesn't seem to know what to do with himself while holding two giant halves of the burrito in each hand. We have 45 minutes to take down this burrito challenge. The side salad and the salsa are not required, and if we win, we'll each still have to pay for the meal which costs $37.50, but we'll get $100 cash. And our pictures will go up on their wall of fame. You ready to yeah, kick I'm off ready. this tour? I'm ready. You gonna double fist it? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> for a second. Three, two. You are ridiculous. Oh yeah. Or are you doing that to keep it from falling apart? No, I'm not that smart. And let this burrito battle begin. Which starts out with a cheeky move by Natter, basically double fisting the burrito as he goes to town and sends it down. Personally, I love the move. It's kind of ridiculous and I hope to see more of it on this trip together. But I am certainly not getting anywhere near that tinfoil. Not exactly one of the ingredients I want to have with my burrito. Though it does help keep things nice and tidy. Speaking of which, did you see that big old dollop of sour cream just plopped right in the middle of my burrito? Let me know in the comments below. That's too much or just enough? Well, I just remembered I didn't have a beard last time. Oh, I never ever think about that. All of a blatantly face just flight like hits me in the face. I probably look like a felon right now. Hmm. For someone who wears candy bracelets, ring pops, and booty socks, you could argue that I reached that stage ages ago. Even more so now with letting those luscious locks loose. But it's all for the good vibes and fun foodie times. And if you're down with that, be sure to take a few seconds to leave a little magic of your own by hitting that like button. If you want to see more food adventures like this, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as someone who likes to strive to maintain those high levels of clean eating, trying to keep that sour cream out of my beard was proving to be a challenge all on its own. It look like I'm making out when I eat like this. When you're making out a little bit. Like from their perspective? Oh, I don't know. It is quite tasty. You are 100% correct there, Mr. Freak Eating. This was a fantastic burrito, even despite that huge amount of sour cream in the middle. I was still able to get a good mix and blend of all the ingredients just by taking a few bites on the outside parts of the burrito. English slang there, you call yourself a bell end. Yeah. Favorite word though. English word, cheeky. That describes me pretty well. I just challenge it, cheeky. You're technically not wrong about that either, because even though this is called the Ocho Cinco Burrito Challenge, which is supposed to represent the challenge being at 85 ounces, it's definitely bigger than that. And I should know, because I've actually done this challenge years ago, back when I was doing a trip around Nashville, and as part of a two-a-day, I attempted this in the morning and did another challenge later that night, and that was actually the game plan heading into this challenge. Until I saw these big old bad boys come out, I immediately knew we would be taking that thought of a two-a-day and we'd be throwing that idea out the window right away. And although it's bigger than last time, the cash prize is better than like 95% of food challenges out there, so you're not going to hear any criticism about that from me. Five minutes in. Oh, I'm already in ball sweat state. Jeez. You say ball sweat? Yeah. Like I was telling you about earlier, about my human furnace. Uh huh. Oh, that's what it feels like right now. It's also somewhere in this hat, which doesn't help, but then I look like a. Complete maniac if I take this hat off. Now I kind of have like a hockey player vibe or something. Yeah. There's a lot of healthy vegetables in this one. Yeah. I had a huge air bubble. 
huge air bubble. I had to say, you know, it's downtown and pound down, but not that blatant. I'm just making this just shut up. I believe go to town and send it down was essentially what I was trying to look for. But yeah, probably just for the best to keep chomping away at this burrito. Yeah. If that was the case, I certainly didn't notice it. Wouldn't be surprised either if it was due to the sheer amount of sour cream I was just stuck in my face with. By the way, if you want to watch the extended video where I talk about other challenges, eaters, and also include behind the scenes footage, be sure to check out the link in the description down below for that exclusive content. And as you enjoy the rest of this food adventure, let me know what your favorite part was, and I'll see you in the next one. that they don't dunk this whole thing like sauce. Yeah. This is your first cheat meal in a long time? I might have the first food challenge in a while, but oh. not my first cheat. My cousin got married recently. Oh! Every, even though everything was organic, gluten-free, vegan, I still packed it in. Cake, pizza, another extra cake, and cookies. Cookies were bombs. Um, that wedding cake was sugar-free, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the most unreasonable burrito I've ever like held. Uh, can I get a, uh, do you guys have Pepsi or Coke? Yeah. Diet Coke, no ice please? Thank you. See, one side of the burrito has something that's really spicy and the other side has sour cream. Oh, Something's right. like it's saucy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just alternate and then you won't, it won't be so just kind of bug slow through it. Just go through it like a typewriter. No. Oh. Big old burp. Thank you. Thank you. Got a little souvenir cup. Ooh. Oh yeah. Like that makes it hard to just keep pushing. The burger didn't have any spice at all, you know. Am I, be, am I the teacher this this time in this interaction? I don't think so. <laughs> Tell you what, we're both getting a hard lesson right now. The school of hard knocks. Oh. I think you're done. Just about. Took my time, so there's more footage to work with. <laughs> Add some more suspense. 34, 15. And now I'm done. At 34, 42. I did not enjoy that little spiciness. <laughs> it was great in the beginning, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't even notice it. Towards the very end, it, it's like it burns. Yeah. We did it. They did it. If you enjoyed this video, you definitely want to check this one out. Link in the description, and I'll see you there. A little bit harder than I remember. Keep on moving. Oh. Just talking to my camera like the same person.